Dear friends of the Tom Photo channel and dear new viewers, I'd like to be brief today and show you a simple GIMP method to straighten bent and curved lines in the photo that happen due to lens distortions. The wider the angle and the more you tilt your camera relative to straight lines, the more distortions you can expect. This is not specific to the camera lenses. Our eyes do exactly the same because they're also lenses. However, our brain has learned to straighten the lines for us in post-processing, if you will. A lot of cameras do a fair amount of post-processing to that effect too, especially if you shoot JPEG. However, they don't know how far you'd want to go with it, so oftentimes they don't go far enough. I took this ugly photo for today's example using a 15mm lens. I didn't let the camera do any corrections. We have two kinds of problems here. First, the walls are bent, not straight, and they are also slanted. Let's fix both problems using GIMP 2.10.18. I'm running it on Linux, but it runs on every system with just cosmetic differences in the user interface. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to filters, distorts and lens distortion. This opens a dialog box um, and as this is only an introduction, let us change only the value of main. And this helps us to reduce or get rid of the barrel effect. And we wanna try going to the left and right to see which direction is correct for us. And it appears that in our current uh, case, we need to go to about minus 15 or so. So this looks pretty good right now. Um, let me toggle the effect on and off for you so that you can see what happened when we were doing it. So this is before and after, before and after. Okay, and um, I think uh, you can see that our wall on the right is, is better now and has become um, uh, a straight line essentially. So let's okay this effect. What we just did had no effect on how tilted the walls appear. So let's correct that as well. For this, we are going to Tools, uh, Transform Tools, and 3D Transform. Again, a small dialog box opens, and we can change numbers here and turn the image in front of um, our eyes relative to all axes in the 3D space. Uh, for example, um, Y axis lets us turn the image uh, right and left, uh, but we don't need this right now. We need the X axis. This allows us to turn the upper part of the image toward us or away from us relative to our eyes. Uh, let me show you how. So again, you want to try both directions and uh, it seems that uh, we need to go in the negative direction and uh, the good value for us is uh, negative 9. Uh, and let's uh, do this transformation. Uh, note that uh, after all we did, the image is no longer recta rectangular, so we have to crop this image again, uh, like so. Go to image, crop to selection. And all done. There you have it. Here are the before and after images side by side. Note that correcting lens aberrations will reduce the info in your image. You cut out certain parts of the image and permanently throw them away. You will change the objects in the image when you correct shapes. So you don't want to take the correction to the extreme. Sometimes it's better to make peace with some tilting problems than make the image otherwise weird. And I'm not even talking about situations where tilting is desired. For example, in this image, I wanted the trees to be the way they appear. In this example, the tree trunks become leading lines that lead your eye to the sky and thereby make you appreciate the might and height of the trees even more. Thank you for watching. If you think this video helped you, I kindly ask you to consider subscribing to my channel I'm looking forward to seeing you in my other videos concerning photography topics. 
Have a great day.